Party dudes and dudettes, welcome to an episode of What Does the Manual Say? Alright, we're talking about the oil life indicator on the 4th and 5th gen Ram truck. Alright, a lot of dudes have a lot of ideas about what it says inside this manual. Some people think the oil life indicator is a 10,000 mile countdown clock. Alright, some dudes say, hey, you should change your oil every 3,000 miles. Forget about what the manufacturer says. All right, so I just want to see what the manual says. Forget about my feelings. I ain't judging nobody right now. I just want to see what the manual says. Is it a 10,000 mile countdown clock? And, all right, and should you be changing your oil every 3,000 miles? All right, now I'm just going to give you a, a little personal experience on my fortune Ram truck. Around every four to 6,000 miles, it'll ask me to change the oil. Oil life indicator will be... Uh, pretty much depleted. My fifth gen Ram truck, I think I've gotten to like 4,300 miles max. Had changed the oil twice on it already. It's pretty new. Um, it ain't, it hasn't made it nowhere near 10,000 miles, right? Before it has asked me to change the oil. Okay, so let's see what the manual says. All right, these things are gonna be worth money one day. Cause like I said, people buy the vehicle, they throw them right in the garbage. All right, we're gonna talk, we're gonna look in the manual of the fourth gen Ram truck. All right, so 2015, I have a 2015 Ram 1500 Hemi. All right, four by four. All right, let's see here. All right, let's find out. 200, all right, if I remember, see correctly, I read it years ago and I just kind of laugh at people's answers. People have a, uh, what's that, superstitions, and let me tell you another secret. Where is it at here? I got it right behind me. I don't care how many times you change your oil and what oil you use, you're not going to fix this with oil. All right, we got that? We clear? All right, clear. All right, don't ask me how I know. Spent more money on an engine than most of y'all. Uh, okay, here we go. 200 and what does the manual say? Did I find it? Oh, maintenance schedule, gasoline engine. All right, so let's go ahead. We're not gonna read all of it. All right, so what we got here, we got blah, blah, blah. We're not gonna do the DVD. Your vehicle is equipped with an automatic oil change indicator system. The oil change indicator system will remind you that it is time to take your vehicle in for scheduled maintenance. Look, y'all could just, you do it yourself, all right? Look, I'm not implying anything here. I just want to see what the manual says, all right? I just want to change the oil myself. Based on engine operation conditions. What? Hmm, interesting. Based on engine operating conditions. That means there's something else going on here besides being a 10,000 mile countdown clock. All right, the oil change indicator message will illuminate. All right, this means that the service is required for your vehicle operating conditions, such as frequent short trips, trailer tow, extremely hot or cold ambient temperatures, all right, and E85 fuel usage will influence when the oil change required message is displayed. Wow. Something different than I see on Facebook. Okay, severe operating conditions can cause the change oil message to illuminate as early as 3,500 miles. So dudes would be correct in changing their oil at 3,000 miles. That would be, uh, uh, you could be doing that. You wouldn't be hurting nothing. All right, but you'd probably be wasting your money if uh, you don't use the, the, the truck severely, if you know what I mean. All right, according to the manual. All right, uh, oil, you guys need to research the oil. A lot of y'all are changing your oil. It ain't even close to being broken down yet. Just so you know. All right, let's go, let's go. All right, illuminate. So it can illuminate pretty early. All right, have your vehicle serviced as soon as possible within the next 500 miles. So they're saying get there, get it done. They're not saying lax on it. All right, a lot of dudes acting like they say lax on it, blah, blah. Okay, so this right here is resetting indicator. We're not going to read that. All right, what is this note? 
under no circumstance should oil change intervals exceed 10,000 miles. Oh, so they do mention a 10,000 miles. But when they mention it, they're asking you in under no circumstances to exceed that. All right, some uh, synthetic oils are pretty good, believe it or not. Don't exceed 12 months or 350 hours. Uh-uh, don't do it. That's what it says about 10,000 miles. All right, on the fortune round truck. All right, let's see here. Blah, 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 2,500. We're talking about 1,500. Look, don't exceed 8,000 miles because usually those guys are towing and doing. All right, so what do we got here? Severe duty, all models. All right, I don't feel like saying it only because I feel weird, but severe duty, all models. It's kind of simple. Change oil at 4,000 miles. So it's, this is a time where it's gonna ask you to bypass the oil life indicator because it might not be indicating to you to change the oil yet because it doesn't understand exactly where you are at. That's what I'm getting here. So it, change engine oil at 4,000 miles if the vehicle is operated in a dusty and off-road environment or is operated predominantly at idle or only very low engine RPMs. This type of vehicle use is considered severe duty. All right, so there is a time when you would and could, and the manufacturer is like, go for it, change the oil before the indicator says so. All right, so, yeah. That's about as much for oil maintenance there. That's kind of what it about, because we're talking about the oil life indicator. All right, oil life indicator. What, what does it do exactly? It tries to do the best it can, what I'm getting out of this, but it is not perfect. All right, so it does do the best it can. And it's saying right here in the manual, that's what I'm getting out of it. It does the best we can. That's what I read, but not perfect. All right, let's see what my fifth gen Ram Hemi, it's like the same exact freaking thing, I'm pretty sure. Be right back, let's get that manual. Alrighty, boom, back. All right, so I left my, my, my 2021 fifth gen Ram manual in the house. Now, I wanna go over this. Check this out. This is a higher model truck than this. I paid way more for this one than this one, but this one, came with like the leather pleather case. I don't know if it's real, let me smell it. It might be, I don't know. All right, so let's see what the 2015, this thing's a big fat chunky manual too, come on now. So this one's my 2021 Ram 1500, biggest horn man. All right, I wonder if it's, I would doubt it's on the same page. A lot of dudes, they have a hard time doing this, it blows their gourd. Let me see if it's on the same page. No, it is not. I don't know what page it is on. All right, so I kind of treat my fifth gen like I treated my fourth gen, you know what I mean? It's kind of the same maintenance. I, mean, I should have not done that, but all right. So what we're going to do is this hurts a lot of people's gourds and that's going to right back here. All right, and what I'm going to do we're gonna go to, I don't know where I'm going. I know where I'm going, okay, we'll get there. Son of a biscuit! All right, okay, all right. Gotta lay off a couple things. Okay, here we go. I get it, it hurts to look stuff up. Oil off pavement driving, huh? That's pretty uh, great. All right, so what I want is oil, oil filter, oil, oil, oil engine. Doesn't say nothing about oil life indicator. But maybe oil filter change. Pressure warning light, something happening. All right, so we're going 444, 44 something, 4, 
We're gonna try that. Let's go back there. Research it. I know it's hard. It, it's just hard. Hmm. Oh wow, look at this. A note. Hemi engines at times can tick right after startup and then quiet down after approximately 30 seconds. Isn't that something? I never would expect that to be in the manual. Wow. Wow. All right, so they're being straight up. They're being straight up. I'm like, look, man, it's gonna tick, 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 tick. It's good, all right, just chill. Loading oil, where is this? Uh, the oil life and the maintenance authorized qualifying. Um, I don't see it. All right. Well, hold on a second here. <laughs> Hard. It's page 425, I guess. Maintenance. I should have looked up maintenance. Okay. That, wow. All right. Punch me in the face. Okay. So let's see what the 15 Ram truck manual says about the oil life indicator deal. Your vehicle is equipped with an automatic oil change indicator system. The oil change indicator system will remind you that it is time to take your vehicle in for scheduled maintenance based on engine operating. So pretty much, pretty much looking like the same thing. Almost the same. Except for I don't see the mentioning of the 3,500 miles. Maybe it'll come on even sooner than that. Pretty close though, pretty close. Okay, so that's what the manual says. All right, forget about my feelings. I don't really care what anybody says on Facebook. They're weird, all right? I guess I'm weird too if I'm on Facebook. But yeah, that's it. That's uh, an episode of what does the manual say? This one today is what does the manuals say? All right, about the oil life indicator. All right, now we know. Now we know. Hot damn hell yeah. I'm the baddest. Get some. <laughs>